I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Uh. Oh, uh-huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but... It was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. Well, you're the writer, Lucas. I know you'll make the right... Thank you, Jesse. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh... Next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um... Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. You don't need to apologize. We're just hanging out. Right. Sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. I, I, I mean, uh... Oh. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own Founding Day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. Oh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Ah, oh, thanks, Jesse. Yeah, thanks. Petra will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said next time for sure. I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> Ugh, so freaking cute. So the other towns have Founding Day celebrations, huh? Yeah, man. We honor Magnus every year with a freaking awesome memorial explosion rally. He would have loved it. Over in Redstone here, we're a little lighter on the explosions. I helped Eligard engineer an excellent new music machine for the evening ball. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah, this has been great. I really appreciate you guys coming out like this. I know it's busy. Yeah, man. Always love an excuse to visit Beacon Town. 
Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Be- be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. I really do love this place, and it just keeps getting cooler. Right? I love it too. It's exactly the kind of home I'd always dreamt of having. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for this. I'll keep that in mind. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? It's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like, uh, treasure-sniffing llama, or, uh, it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. Doesn't need to be like a thing. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah? Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? <sighs> Ugh, okay, you big ugly llama thing. Just hold still so we can get this over with. that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. Just grab the... Oh, gross. Come on. Let's get after that armor-wrecking thing. Hang on, it's super dark down there. We should make a torch. Here, llama, llama, llama. Where'd you go? Are you, Mayor Jesse? Told you I'm not the mayor. I'm the leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork. And... <laughs> How the heck did you get up there? Who knows, but it's coming down now. What was that crap? 
creepy whisper. Uh, I didn't hear anything. Some sort of glove or gauntlet? Looks like it's made out of prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. Destiny or something. I hope it's not like a curse. That's usually what leaves things stuck to you, right? Yeah, until you die. Which isn't what's happening here. I hope. Uh oh, get up the pyramid, quick! <gasps> coming from down there. I don't care whether we can see the bottom or not. We need to cover it up now. Right. What is that? Not sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but here. Not getting out the way we came, though. So close to Beacon Town. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something. Sure. Yeah, that works. Okay, then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. That sounds perfect. I can't wait to meet this guy. Knew you'd be excited. Yes. 
and I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. Okay, come on you. Gotta get you home. Um, Jesse, I'm really kind of in a hurry here. <sighs> you know my sword, gold one with all the enchantments? Miss Butter? Yeah, I, I kind of got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while. And now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's been... Not great. Petro, why didn't you tell me about this? You haven't this? exactly been around much. Didn't want to bother you with it. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, her... <laughs> She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like Champion City right over there? I had no idea that a leader was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. You're one of my best friends, and it sounds like you really need my help. For the record, I don't need help, but thank you. Don't worry, we're gonna get this whole mess sorted out. Hope you're right. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and get this thing off my hand! City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Stella is strict about how things look here. Mm, I don't know if this is quite my taste. I prefer what we're doing in Beacon. Yeah, Stella always wants everything exactly her way. Doesn't matter how other people want to build. That's why I like Beacon Town better too. <coughs> what? Come on. We're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. Hey, that's why you've got me, remember? We're a team. We will take care of this no problem. Sure hope you're right. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. Wow, even the flowers are organized. Yeah, and see the gardeners working on them? They all owe her stuff, too. Everyone in town owes Stella something. I think that's where she got most of the materials to build Champion City in the first place. Lots of little trades all add up after a while. Wait, the whole town? How? Yep. She's always finding little reasons that people's trades aren't enough. Making up with rules. Well, your sword is one trade Stella won't be getting out of. I'm going to make sure of it. together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Oh, 
Well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, she matches your outfit wonderfully. I know you think you like that one, but actually, I... Oh, Lona, my darling! You came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl. Stella? Oh, look who it is! Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. Surely you think about it as much as I do? Oh boy. <laughs> Sorry, but you are not my rival. Even my B-list villains are way scarier than you. I do not know what kind of mind games you are trying to bring into our rivalry, but I'll tell you right now, they are not going to work on me. I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. Just a puppy for this? That's a terrible trade. Rude. I just thought I'd offer. I heard you need a new pet. Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald? <laughs> Don't push too hard now. Stop changing the deal around, Stella. It's wrong. Well, I never. The deal hasn't, you know, changed. Sword. I want sword. My sword. I was very clear. I make trades for treasure. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. You wanted to become my champion. You came to me in exchange. You got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> later, Petra. Uh, I know. Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Do you two know the way out? Oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. Letting her get away with this, we're getting even. Hey, I'll just settle for getting my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. <laughs> Stella's treasure room is right there, but I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. I think we can handle sneaking through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me. <laughs> We're gonna need a distraction for those guards. That thing is so cute! Oh no! How are we gonna get through here with none of them barking? I've got it covered. Puppies. See? You like bones, right? Oh, Petra, jeez. 
out. This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. <laughs> okay, this is actually pretty funny. She seriously thinks this make treasure you got from other people? Not letting her keep mine, though. It must be in here somewhere. Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. It's, you know, nothing. But what about Beacon Town? It's your home. You can't just leave it behind. It's never felt like my home, though. Beacon Town is your place. Ugh. No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. You were on time today. That was great. Uh, but it's hard to ignore that none of my friends are ever around anymore. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. Yeah, you're right. I mean, of course you're right. I know I haven't exactly been the best friend lately. No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was... Ha! Hey, yeah, ha! Shh, check it out. That's right. It's Petra, armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter. Hiya! This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. And by her side is her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jesse. Together, they can take on. Oh, hi! Hello! Uh, you, you should not be here. This, this is, um, uh, hmm, this is incredibly awkward. Just hand over the sword, Stella. Don't make me get tough. Fine. Fine. You can have your dumb sword back. Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened and I will let you go. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. A day you will rue till... Still not my rival! Oh, man. Rah! Feels so good to have you back. Thank you so much for your help. I know it got a little weird back there. I appreciate you still helping me anyway. Just so you guys know, I skipped the part where they entered the mine because all they did was do a quest for searching for the llama. If you want to see that video, uh, then I'll probably put it in my part two video. If I don't, then you'll see it when you play the game. But all the quest is is that they go look for the llama and they do end up finding it. So, yeah. <laughs>